Ross of the World Trade Centre suffers a freak accident which leaves him crippled only to defy the odds and return to what he does best, which is making films. Here's David Richardson with the incredible true story of Stephen Elliott. Behold the country cottage. Oh Lord, it's enormous. Lorita's met her perfect man. And now she's going to meet... Ooh. This is my wife. His mother. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, you're American. It's like a 1930s version of Meet the Parents, a black oh, English yes. comedy oh, with a distinctive Australian flavour. Right. <laughs> Through history, mother-in-law is always a great problem. It's also a great source of comedy. I mean, you can't help but laugh at a mother-in-law or stir her up. <laughs> oh, can I get you anything? A shovel. Of course. Tell the truth, I never really liked a crabby, snappy little bitch. I didn't like the dog much either. It's a long way from a big silver bus and three drag queens winding across the desert to the country estates of Depression England. But Easy Virtue and Priscilla are the brainchilds of Australian director Stephen Elliott. Also I'd like the same light a little bit in area. I need somewhere to whiz around and get a few moments of Sarah. I'm here to have as much fun as possible now. Life's really short. It's only a movie. And you know what? We're damn, I'm still blessed to have this job. I mean, where else in the world do you get to fly around the world, go to people's la like uh, houses and, you know, destroy their houses with a film crew, play dress-ups, then sit up with a band, as we did with this one, and just whip up some, you know, terrific music. This is a great job. One, two, three, take one. A marker. <laughs> It's the brash, often loud director's first movie in 11 years, after a skiing accident in France four years ago left him on death's door. Being told you're not going to live is the most terrifying experience on earth. You wonder what's going to happen. At that moment, you think, well, am I going to go into this spiral? What do you want to go through? Am I going to see lights? I just sat there with this stupid grin on my face. I can see if you could step round into a chair. He pulled through, but doctors believed he would never walk again. It's something Elliot has rarely discussed before. Uh, this is a tough subject matter for me because there was a moment there where I actually, when they, when they said I wasn't going to walk, I, uh, I pulled the French doctor aside and said, I don't want to be around for this. You seriously considered euthanasia? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a euthanasia part of this film if you have a look at the tips in the end, and that's exactly where it came from. I could pivot around if I could. It took months to get Stephen Elliott to take his first steps. His friend, movie producer Rebel Penfold Russell, filming the moment. Ready, steady, up. Okay, now take some deep breaths, relax your shoulders. Do you ever like to come back and live here? Oh, I think I'm ready. Back in Australia to promote his new film, Stephen Elliott is relishing life again and ready to make more movies here. Oh, no, I'm more than ready to make an Aussie film now. I'm more comfortable with it. I mean, I had the Priscilla ball unchained, that's what it was. I was just trying to spend, I spent half my career trying to get rid of the Priscilla thing. And now I'm actually, for the first time, I'm really proud of it. Is it true you've had as many lovers as they say? Of course it's not true. Hardly any of them actually loved me. Having faced the ultimate test, Elliot is happy back where he belongs on the film set. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Can you do it? I can't. Yeah. yeah I need that Live you got it. Prosper. Yeah. Live long and prosper. Coming to a cinema near you. When does the carnage begin? And Easy Virtue starring Colin Firth, Christine Scott Thomas and Jessica Biel opens next month.